All right, Ray people. Happy day. Let's dive right into this content. Girl gangs in the U.S. Now, it's wild out there in them scrapes. Let's check this video out. And I like how they, they, they're saying that they want to help them change their lives. I just have to root and know that young people's hearts can be changed. Youth, children, kids. I got into a, a conversation with somebody in my comment section that thought it was polite, wanted to get technical about the word kid. I don't care what you choose to call them. I, I, kids children, young people, youth, great people. These are all the names that I use when I'm talking about youth, children. <clears throat> have, have, let's have some, let's have some valuable conversation. If you're in the comment section, please. Valuable conversation, words that can be used to empower and, and the, the situation. Not in the let's see what's going on. They take aim and shoot no matter who's in the way. Instead of prom parties, their social events are shootings and funerals. Mm. The number of teen girls using guns is growing and now female crime fighters are working to bring them to justice and turn their lives around before more lives are ruined. We had an exclusive look inside recent NYPD gang takedowns. Nineteen-year-old Brianna Portalatin, eight months pregnant, was among other suspects brought out from a sort of criminal commune in a Bronx apartment. She was in handcuffs again. Lives. Police say it's her third gun arrest. What's going on here? I love you, babe. The expectant mom with a rap sheet is allegedly one of 20 members of the notorious Slaughtery Gang, mm. indicted in 14 shootings in the Fordham section of the Bronx. In our exclusive look inside the NYPD takedown, we learned she's not the only female alleged trigger puller. There's also a 15-year-old girl, shown here in silhouette, taking aim and firing. Then there's one of the gang's leaders, 19-year-old Nadine Asamoa, known as drill rapper Nabenz. Investigators say she was one of the leaders. We're racing to the precinct right now because so far this morning the detectives have captured eight subjects wanted in this case. Nabenz, police, police say you're a trigger puller. Police say you're a trigger puller. Is that true? What? Police say you're a trigger puller. We saw three. Three case members, which we... Oh, my gosh. This is just so sad to see young people in this state of mind. What, what is going on? I mean, we know what's going on. But what is going on here? What is going on here? Never had before, you know, arrested. When you look at those three case members, total five trigger-pulling incidents and six gun arrests amongst those three females. So we're seeing the violence. It's increasing and it's concerning. Female detectives are playing more prominent roles in the Gun Violence Suppression Division cases. Detective Lena Alexander and Detective Aaron Curry made history in May as the first female team to lead a gang takedown. For them, it's about having an impact on those they arrest and restoring safety to the community. I was born and raised in East New York, Brooklyn, and it's uh, very near and dear to my heart, and I just wanted to make a difference and making the streets hopefully a little bit safer. Trailblazing Bronx DA Darcel Clark says there are many reasons why they're seeing girls get seduced by the gang lifestyle. That's why, in addition to prosecuting the cases, she also devotes her time and energy to prevention in the community to let girls know they have other options. That's right. Some of them are afraid. Some of them are forced to do it. Some of them just, you know, are curious. They like the bad boys, so they want to run in those circles to see what it's like. They may not necessarily be like that, but it's too late once you get caught up in it. Poverty right. and unstable family and mental health issues are also factors, says clinical social worker Dr. LaShawn Paul, who treats teen girls at risk. I personally don't believe that there's any like specific diagnosis or things that you can look for, right? I think that the sooner that we get intervention for these girls, the better before yes. they become the lead, because before they become the shooter. There's so much more to this. I hope you'll join us for the next episode of Street Soldiers Friday night at our new time slot, 6.30, right here on Fox 5. I'm Lisa Everett. Okay, it's my heart, but I love the fact that they are there. They have the programs in place that these young women, young ladies, teens, girls, youth will have the opportunity to turn their life around. And, you know, it's a shame because our industry culture when it comes to rap music and music. 
promotes this lifestyle as glorious. Ain't nothing glorious about being in jail. Ain't nothing glorious about killing anybody. Ain't nothing glorious about not taking care of yourself and putting yourself in a position to win in society. Ain't nothing glorious about hurting other people. So I don't understand how people are being bought, how, how they're being bought, how youth are, are buying into this culture. But as she said, you want to get a, a taste of the bad boy lifestyle and it's no fun. So I'm glad that there are people like her. And I know that they are across the USA and I'm sure in other countries that I just have to give it the benefit of the doubt that they there are programs that will help these young women. But even before that, we have to instill, you know, in our youth well before they get to this age that there is hope regardless of their situation at home, regardless of what they're seeing, regardless of the situation that they have no control over. There is hope. Go and check out my Snapper Red Dropping Jewels channel. I'm going live every day on Twitch to give young people a mindset shift before they get going at school. The times that I go on are between 7.15 a.m. and 7.30. Go and follow Snapper Red on Twitch live. I'm not just talking about it. I'm being about it. So we have to we have to take a stance to be able to help these young ladies because they have such a, they have such a whole life ahead of them, but they don't realize that this is what cuts their days short. God, God is not happy with this type of behavior, but he's a graceful God. He gives us time to get it together. But how much time do we have? So please. Please, please, if you are connected to youth who are in trouble, if you are connected to youth that need resources, tap in, leave some comments in the comment section because I'm there definitely resourceful or tap into the resources in your area, in your state. They're all around. Google them. Start at the kids school or the school they're supposed to be going to if they're not in school. All right, great people. Let's get in this comment section. We must continue to pray for these youth. And like I said, and pray for our leaders, whether you support them or not, they still need covering because these people out here are just insane. Pray for our country and pray for the world. I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe to the channel.